Hey you guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm filming a try on haul which is actually something I haven't done in a really long time and I'm excited to do. Today's haul is going to be specifically plus size target pieces that are relatively new meaning within the last week I've gotten most of these in and then also I'm going to sprinkle in a couple pieces that I just absolutely love that I may have gotten like a month ago. So hopefully you guys are excited to see this. I am actually a huge supporter of Target in general. I actually have a dedicated Instagram page for Target. It's called at Target plus me. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen here so you guys can go check it out. I also will link it down below so you guys can check it out that way too. I talk about a lot of Target things on that page, not just clothing. So if you guys want to go over there and share in the love for Target, definitely check that out. But today I'm going to be filming a try on haul. I actually, my most recent one was I think Shein like over a year ago and you guys love that so much and I loved doing it too. Um, I want to start doing those more. So after today's video, if you really like it and you want to see more, leave me a comment down below and let me know who I should do a haul from next. Target is actually a, uh, business that I purchase from on the regular. I actually do something called a Saturday favorite series over on my Target Instagram page where I share all of my favorite purchases, including all departments for the past week. So I think that I would include a Target clothing haul actually once a month if I can work that out and if I find enough pieces that I like. So give this video a thumbs up if that sounds exciting to you and just overall if it sounds exciting for me to start doing more plus size clothing hauls here on my YouTube channel. So here are some of the pieces we're going to be trying on today including the outfit that I'm wearing right now that you guys saw in the intro. I'm going to go through sizing, cost, and just overall take on how each piece fits. Again, if you guys like this video, you will definitely want to subscribe because I'm gonna have more videos like this coming up. I personally would like to do American Eagle next. I've been dying to do like a full on haul of their jeans. So let me know what you think of that. Again, leave me a comment down below and let me know who you think I should do like a haul from next. But no matter what, make sure you subscribe before you leave today's video because you're definitely going to want to see everything that I have upcoming for this channel, especially regarding any type of clothing haul. All right, so I'm going to be referencing my phone to give you guys exact details of each item. Like I said, pricing, the sizing, and overall fit again. So I'm going to start out with this. This duster is by Wild Fable. I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you guys can see the pattern. I actually think it's so adorable. These little floral dusters were so popular starting last year and I'm really glad to see that they're still in because I have a couple in my closet already. So the sizing on these dusters, there's a straight size available and a plus size available. It's a one size fits all in each category. So this is the plus size. Um, before I get any further, I will include to you guys right now what my sizing info is. Typically, I'm a true to size 2X in everything, but as you guys know, clothing really ranges in fit and size. So for Target specifically, I see anywhere from like a 1X to a 4X, and also, <laughs> which is kind of crazy, and also in more of like a fitted style, I'll see like all the way from 18 to 22, sometimes even 24. So I will let you guys know, typically I range around a 20 and a 2X is where I sit in a lot of my clothing. I also like my clothing to fit a little slightly oversized in everything that I'm wearing. And I do have a smaller waist in comparison to my, lo my lower half, which tends to be larger. So I also size and fit clothes to kind of fit my body style. So back to this duster, I absolutely love it. It does wrap all the way around. It's not super loose though. It does have a tie, it came in tied. So if you wanted, you could have it tied in a bow or, you know, however you want to tie it. So it does kind of have like a closed or a more modest look if you wanted to tie it like that, which I actually think is really cute. Even tied, I do have a little bit of room. There's really no stretch to it. So if you guys have like a fit where you think it's just going to barely fit um, and a lot of movement it's not going to move with you it is very flowy but it's not going to stretch with you if that makes sense 
Um, so the sleeve, I love this little flutter sleeve. It has kind of a drop shoulder and then a flutter sleeve, which I think is super flattering and then also like really breezy still. Target is actually doing a clothing, accessories, and I think shoes sale on the women's department this week. It didn't say everything, so if the item is on sale, I will mention that when I link everything down below. So I will for sure link everything that I possibly can down below in the description box. And then if it is a part of this week's sale, then I will add like a little um, note there with the link as well. So I'm gonna try and go back far enough so you guys can see it does hit me like right at my knee. Ooh, there you go. I am 5'9", and I do have longer legs and a longer torso. It does have a slit on the side, so you guys can see a pretty long slit. For me, it hits me like right middle of my thigh and then goes down to slit out, which I think is a really nice extra detail. I think the fact that this is like more of a neutral floral duster means that you could pair it with so many different things. And as you guys can see from this first outfit, I actually really like to mix prints and textures and patterns <laughs> and styles of clothing. So even though I wouldn't see this together right off, I actually don't mind the floral duster because it's kind of a neutral with the polka dot shorts. So let's talk about those next. These are, actually a who, what, where item. This is gonna be my first time trying out this brand that's been around a while now at Target. They have a straight section and a plus size section. And these are $24.99 and the size that I ordered was 22. The reason I ordered a 22 is because I knew the material was kind of like a fitted, almost like a trouser style. Um, and what I mean by that is more of like business. So I know that they're not stretchy. I know, well, I assumed that they weren't stretchy, that they were gonna need some like additional room in regards to my preference. Something else that I saw in regards to fit for these shorts is they do have an elastic so around certain parts of the shorts, which I think is helpful. They do have pockets really deep pockets and it is like a high-waisted item. I think technically you could wear it lower if you wanted the short length to fit you longer. I actually really like where it's hitting me based off of um, how I prefer to wear my shorts. I think that it's just the right length. I don't think it's too short to where I'm gonna be worried about having to like apply and reapply thigh rescue, if you know what I mean. But I also think that it's short enough to where it doesn't look like too mature of a length, if that makes sense. It does have functioning buttons up the middle, which I really think is cute. And then this little like frill at the top, really adorable. The true color of the short itself, I think is like a, almost like a really light salmon. I think it described in the listing that they're pink. I wouldn't say that they're a true pink. I would say they're actually a little bit more orangey. Okay, the last piece that I'm gonna talk about is actually a piece that I've purchased for a while now, but it has not been the weather in Kansas for me to wear this yet, so I still have the tag on it. I did have to reference the brand. It is a New Day, which is another Target line. It's $8, it comes in straight and plus sizing, $8. And I actually purchased them when they were on sale, I think for $4. So I got three different colors. It does come in like 15, it looks like basically 15 different colors. It goes all the way up to a 4X. It is ribbed. I feel like it fits true to size. I did order the 2X. I do have it tucked into these shorts. So let me just pull that out so you guys can see the length. I feel like it's a perfect length, actually. I feel like it's not too long where you feel like you have too much material, but then I also feel like it covers enough to where it's not cropped. I'm I'm definitely somebody who's not into the cropped uh, trend. My favorite thing about this tank is that it is like a slimming racer style. Here's the back. I am wearing a traditional bra, so it is like it's slimmer, so I think that's really flattering. Now that's something that I like to see in my body, but then it's enough to cover my bra strap still. I actually love this bra so much. It's super comfy, but it's just a tiny bit sexy, so I will link that down for you guys below as well. Okay, so here is the next outfit. I can't not show this to you guys in full body. 
so cute this little skirt i actually think it's adorable and i think it feels so light and airy this skirt is by a new day the color is teal i would actually say it's more of a green definitely like a sea green this is $27.99, um, so it is a new day. It comes in straight and plus sizing then, and I did order a 2X. I feel like it runs really generous, so I almost feel like it's too big, so I kind of moved it up a little bit to make it feel a little bit more secure on my body. So if you want a super oversized fit, get your normal size. Otherwise, if you want like a more true to size fit, I would actually recommend sizing down on this one. It does have a really generous um, elastic band. So I think that even though it goes up to a 4X because it runs so generously, it could even fit sizes larger than that. So definitely take a chance on this skirt. I think I just saw it comes in a black now. Overall, I don't think I would keep this for me. Um, based off of where the model's wearing it, it's, it just is kind of a interesting length for me because I, maybe because I'm taller. So it doesn't really fit the true maxi skirt vibe, but then if I pull it up, it's almost like too long for T length. Um, so I don't know, it kind of, it's just not super flattering for me, in my opinion, and the way that I wanna wear things. The skirt in general is really cute. If you loved it enough and you thought the length was a little bit odd, it would be something you could look into tailoring. The shirt that I have it paired with is this flutter short sleeve top by a new day also so it's also going to be available in straight and plus sizing all the way up to 4x it's $20 I ordered a 3x in this just because I kind of am familiar with Target enough to know that if it's more of like a business businessy style shirt it's not going to have much give and because I have a larger chest um, I want to make sure I give myself enough room with that said let me just pull it out of this skirt because I have it tucked right now with that said it's not really my favorite on me I think that it looks a little bit mature and also because of the size that I have to get in order to fit my chest, the rest of it feels pretty oversized, almost looking sloppy to me. Um, some people might like the super oversized fit. It does have a little clasp in the back, but that came in broken, which is a little bit odd. It's like an elastic band, so I don't know if it just came apart um, on its own or if it's easy to break I'm not really sure what I do love about it is the flutter sleeve I'm really feeling the flutter sleeve I think it's just a really cute extra detail okay next up is this dress by also by who what wear the line at Target it's in black I think it also comes in a camel color and I couldn't not show you guys in the full length mirror. I actually think this neckline of this dress is super flattering. It really reminds me of those super popular bodycon dresses, but it's not quite as fitted. It does have a lot of give to it. So this is a 2X. I feel like it runs true to size. And I feel like it also has a nice little extra pattern detail to it. Let's see if it'll focus. Yep, it's just slightly ribbed. It does look like the material would pick up a lot. So for people like me who have dogs um, or who have trouble in general with like a lint roller, <laughs> It looks like you'd have to do that a lot on this dress. I think that this dress would be super pretty with um, like some layered chains or a lot of like statement jewelry. Again, if you guys are ever interested in having me style an outfit, let me know and I can include that in my haul next time. I think that this would be a perfect like date night dress for when things get super super hot here in Kansas. It does come in straight and plus sizing and it's $22.99. All right, this next dress is from Ava and Viv. Is this not the cutest thing ever? It is $24.99. It is a, let's see if they call it something. They're calling it the baby doll dress. So it does have kind of like a baby doll fit, um, but there's tons of different colors. This is the floral, like the blue floral, and I thought it was so pretty. Let's see. So pretty. The dress is also very soft. It does have a um, like cinched 
empire style waist, which I feel like sometimes I can feel uncomfortable wearing, but this is the 2X and it runs slightly oversized and I feel like it's loose enough to where I feel it's a comfortable fit. I think it's actually adorable. And this is the first floral dress that I've ever like. I also love that it has pockets on both sides. It does have a like fitted um, elastic at the bottom of the sleeve, which are like almost three quarter length. By the way, these shoes are from last year, but they have a style that is almost identical. I can link for you guys in the comment. They're my favorite go-to like prettier sandals. All right, next up is these shorts from Original Use, which are actually men's shorts. And I kind of just gave them a chance to see if I would like them. Unfortunately, I don't. They came in a little bit more purple than I thought they were going to. Um, I thought that they were more of like a magenta-y, like pinky color. They're definitely more of like a true purple. I do love the print. The print is so cute. For me and my taste in lounge shorts, I feel like these are slightly too long. They definitely feel like they're more fitted for a men's vibe. Um, these are actually from the men's big and tall section. So I found a pair of shorts that were slightly larger. These are actually the 2X, which they have in both straight sizing and in big and tall sizing. So it kind of just depends on how things fit you. I do really like purchasing from the men's department because they have a lot of nice things that are cheaper pricing than women's items, but then they sometimes fit well enough to where I feel like I can rock them. These, unfortunately, I don't think so for me personally, but if you are looking for like a lounge style short that comes down longer, these might be worth giving a chance. I do know that they have multiple colors and these are $18. So if you guys are interested in a different style lounge shirt that I do like. I will link a couple of my favorites down below for you guys to check out also from Target. Um, some of them I purchased last year, but they have like an updated version this year. And then some of them I purchased a couple months ago. Okay, I apologize about the weird angle going back and forth from having you guys like on my ring light versus having you guys held in my hand. But here's another long item and I'm absolutely obsessed with these. So I wanted you guys to be able to see the full length. So these are some jeans by actually Ava and Viv. I'm so excited to see like something a little bit more, in my opinion, risky for Ava and Viv. The reason I say that is the color. So I don't know if you guys can see super well on the screen, but these have like a purpley blue indigo undertone to the dye that's on the jean. And then there's kind of like a slightly acid wash distressed look to it around the edges. These are a skinny jean. I actually don't think the fit is super right on me and I even still love them the same. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I do have a larger lower body. Um, so typically I have to compensate in sizing for that. On top of that, I have never tried a pair of jeans on from Target before that have fit in true to size. So I also ordered up in that sense. So these are actually a 22 and they feel too big. The, um, the length of it is supposed to be slightly shorter. And I'm actually, like I said, five, nine. And typically that's on the higher end of things that I've noticed in traditional fashion. So I think they are supposed to be slightly shorter and I feel like they come up really, really high. Like here's my, um, lower bra band and then there's the jean for me. I could even pull it up like, <laughs> Oh, why is it not focusing? It doesn't want you to see this moment. So it's pretty close. That's pretty high for me. I do like a high rise, but that's pretty high. Um, I have a lot. There's so much stretch, you guys. So much stretch in these. So I feel like they run a little bit generous in comparison to a lot of the bottom um, clothing items that I've tried from Target. So that's exciting because then that means hopefully it will go include more sizing overall. I think because I love these so much, I'm going to order a size down and we're going to see, I'll compare them 
and I'll let you guys know over on my Instagram whether or not I thought that these fit the best or if by going down one size that just kind of ruined the sizing. We'll have to see. I love them so much I would almost just keep these. I think that they're so, so adorable. The one con that I do have besides slightly strange um, fit, the smell. It does smell like dye. So I'm sure usually when they've dyed something, it will give you instructions like on how to wash it. Um, but I would be interested to know if once I dyed, or I'm sorry, I would be interested to know if once I wash these, if that smell went away. I'm actually pretty sensitive to smell. So if it didn't go away, that would probably be a big no for me. That would X nay these. Um, on top of that, I've been wearing this shirt the last couple um, outfits, and it's an old Universal Thread shirt. I will see if they have something comparable this year and link it down below. Um, I do love it. It fits oversized. I bought like four of them last year. If they have something comparable, like I said, I'll link them down below. Otherwise, I'd be talking about it. Next up are these same shirt, <laughs> same old shirt, but last pair of shorts. Can you guys tell when I made this order, I was having this like purpley, purpley thing happening. I've already had three pieces, actually more than that. You guys are gonna see more. The dress, the pants, the other shorts, and I have another dress coming up in that same color tone. I was definitely feeling it that day. So these are the A New Day brand, meaning they will have both straight and plus sizing sizes. In the pleat front shorts, this is called purple. I did actually order a size up to my normal true to size, which is a 3X. Um, or I'm sorry, my normal true to size is a 2X, so I ordered up one, and these are a 3X, which I think in these <sighs> was a slight mistake. So again, I'm having a little bit of like a fit my body issue. So I have a lot, a lot of room up here, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of room in here that's like super, there's a lot of material happening, like a lot of material. So I think that these are way too big in that area at the same time because my calf is bigger these fit a little tighter down here so i don't know if i went to my true to size 2x if it would just be too tight down here for me um the little area right here does have some stretch this up here not quite as much and this has a big elastic waistband in the back so I feel like because of that, it might extend the sizing a little bit past the usual 4X, which is awesome. It does have pockets, it does have those pleats. Because of the pleats, I feel like, well, I should say because of the pleats and because of the material, I feel like this is more of a casual professional short. For me, I don't really have any event kind of like that to take these to but I feel like these would make you look a little bit more maybe put together um, than just like a lounge short. So maybe I'm just too used to like loungy, loungy clothes that this looks like business casual to me. Okay, next up, second to last item is a dress. This is a plus size dress. So it's just Ava and Viv, meaning there's no straight sizing with Ava and Viv. They do go down to a X though, which is typically, it could be either comparable to a straight sizing XXL or a straight sizing XL. It just kind of depends. Um, with something like Target where fit is kind of all over the board, um, you can't 100% tell without trying it. This is their animal print shirt dress. So it does come in multiple colors, goes up to 4X. I feel like it fits very true to size. Um, I'm not in love with it. I think it's okay. I thought it was really adorable on the hanger and maybe it's just seeing it on myself. Um, I don't really care for it. I'm not actually big into like leopard or animal print. So I think that's part of it. But I thought that this was delicate enough that I would think it was cute. And I do think it's cute. I just don't know that I think it's cute on me. Um, without the tie, let me show you. So I have it tied right there. Without the tie, it looks very nightgowny, which I don't know, again, if maybe it's the pattern that's kind of turning me off to that, but I really don't like it without the tie. I can't quite remember what this is called on the skirt, but it is higher in the front and lower in the back. So what is that? I can't remember. Is it a drop line? Ugh, 
my I can't come I, my brain can't come up can't come up with it right now. Um, I will talk about the arms. I do tend to have like a larger arm in general, and I feel like it fits okay. The dress itself is not stretchy, so if you are in between sizes, I would definitely size up one. This is actually a two X. I would have grabbed the three X if they would have had one in store when I bought it, but they only had like fifty two X's, and then they had one. 4x so I'm glad that I didn't get the 3x because the 3x would have been too big this material like I've talked to you guys about tends to run smaller so maybe it's because it's a plus fit and not trying to be a size where it's straight and plus size um, sizing maybe that's why it fits better true to size okay this is the last item in today's target haul this is the universal thread short sleeve t-shirt dress i love it so it has straight and plus sizing and i feel like i hit the jackpot when i found this it's actually sold out online this is the lilac color i think it is it's twenty dollars and it's um it's so so comfy I feel like it fits really true to size, slightly oversized fit. Um, I feel like it doesn't look too oversized. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. In the plus size world, it can feel kind of like people just give you these shapeless dresses and they're, they don't drape well and you kind of just look like you're wearing a bag. This, I feel like, is fitted enough in really nice places but also loose so that you're comfortable i feel like the arm length universal thread does a really good job of arm length and keeping it in a place where it feels comfortable and natural and not like too tight or too short or too long um i just really like universal thread in general it does have a slit on both sides all right, you guys, that is going to be it for today's Target haul. I really appreciate you clicking on today's video and watching. Let me know if you guys have stayed this long. Let me know down in the comment section. What was your favorite from today? What was your favorite outfit? Are you going to give any of this a try? I will link, like I said, everything down below as much as I possibly can. If something is sold out, like this dress at the very end that I talked about that I absolutely love, but apparently nobody can get their hands on. It is worth going to target.com still through the link that I'll have down below. That way you guys can be linked directly to the item and go to the shipping option. So if you click on shipping, it will then tell you it's sold out. But below that, it'll give you the option to click this icon that says like, let me know when it's back in stock or it says back in stock or something. Target does back in stock all the time. I don't know if it's because they get more in, they've had more made, or if they've had returns. So if you absolutely have your eye on something, and this goes for everything at Target, home decor, um, really anything, <laughs> they have that option on, which is really nice. And you have to be fast, pretty typically. So you'll get a notification that something came back in stock, then you can go really quickly and check out. That way you can have a chance at getting your hands on something that you really want. Don't forget to subscribe before you guys leave today's video. And don't forget, I will have my Target page linked down below. So if any of you want to become Target junkies, kind of like me, or if you just want to watch me be a Target junkie, head over there and give me a follow and you guys can watch that. All right, hopefully you guys have an amazing day, an amazing week, and hopefully when I'm filming this, it's not live, but hopefully some of these items will be a part of the sale. So happy shopping.